in the book of Exodus chapter 23 verse 1 the Bible says thou shalt not raise a false report put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 the Bible says blessed are ye when men shall revive you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake in the book of Psalm 35 verse 20 the Bible says for they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Lastly, in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 16, the Bible says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Any false witnesses gang up against me, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Any false witnesses gang up against me, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. Today's topic is prayer against false accusation and setup. Prayer against false accusation and setup. Have you been wrongly accused by someone you love? Or you find yourself accusing somebody with false evidence, with false reports, false impression about someone? Or do you feel that someone is env the first accusation was born out as a result of envy and jealousy? First accusation has landed so many children of God in the prison today. First accusation has landed so many people in trouble today, and yet they are still in that same problem. I pray for you today. Any power or any man or woman. That is cooking up false reports against you. I pray the Lord will terminate them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will terminate them in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. In the Bible, Haman devised a plot against Mordecai, but his false accusation turned against him. In the Bible, Potiphar wife's false accusation caused Joseph to spend time in the prison. Praise the living Jesus. First accusation is carried out when someone makes an accusation that is not true or validated. An example of false accusation and setup is when a woman accused a man falsely of raping her when the man did nothing about her. A false accusation is a crime punishable by law and a serious offense or serious sin before God. A false accusation can also be done by setup. In order to gang up or conspire against a person when there's no enough proof or enough evidence of a statement made against someone it's known to be called false accusation or setup many people have been wrongly accused for the acts or crime they did not commit many have been wrongly sent to jail others have been killed demoted fired at work as a result of false accusation and set up. A person can wrongly accuse someone because of envy and jealousy. Any false accusation done de deliberately is primarily to set up the person and put him in big trouble. You went to an ATM to withdraw money and ham robber came to have a talk with you. They asked you to give them your account number. You gave them and they transferred a big sum of money into your account. After some minutes, they ask you to send that same money back to them. Once police investigate or trace that account, your account will be gotten and will be backlisted and you will be arrested, thinking that you are the one that committed that crime. It's very frustrating and shocking for police to arrest you or put you in jail, God forbid, for something you do not, you do not know nothing about or someone among your friends made a wrong accusation that you stole money, for example, that you slept with his wife, for example, that you just, you know, disappoint them, or they did, they, they, they are doing this because in order to wicked you. In the Bible, Jesus was wrongly accused by Judas Iscariot. People accuse others falsely when they discover when they, people accuse others falsely when they discover somebody is progressing or succeeding or being promoted. They find something to set you up in order for people to believe you truly committed that crime or sin. 
When you are surrounded by evil people, always be vigilant and prayerful. If you are suspecting any strange heart from someone, try to avoid that person and always pray for God to disappoint and frustrate any coup planned against you. Praying against false accusation and setup will force God to arrest and expose those people that are planning evil against you. The prayers will cancel any wrong accusation and justify you very soon in Jesus' name. These prayers will remove that bad spirit in your life that made people to accuse you wrongly and gang up against you to the point of destroying your good reputation. If you have an encounter with someone who lied against you to the point of taking you to court, don't worry, the Lord will fight on your behalf, vindicate you, and turn evil plot against the accuser in Jesus' name. So we are going into 22 prayers against false accusation, set up, conspiracy, or gang up. So if you know that you have been wrongly accused or you are in the prison watching me right now as a result of all this mess, or actually your property has been taken as a result of wrong accusation, or you discover that you were falsely accused that you slept with another woman's heart because you are always at home, you don't find out that some evil reports so as a result of envy and jealousy, don't worry. These prayers will do something great in your life. Don't worry. Our God is a God of truth. And our, our God is a great advocate. If you are in the court as a result of all this mess, don't worry. He will surely overcome. And God Almighty will teach your first accusers a big lesson that they will never forget for the rest of their lives. I pray it shall be your portion. God will take you out from that mess. Whoever that has planned to conspire, to gang up against you, to deal with you, and to sh to spoil your reputation. God Almighty, before they think or before they are planning it, the Lord Almighty will scatter it and will expose those ones among your friends or among your close ones. You will expose them and deal with them in Jesus' name. 22 prayers against false accusation and setup. Confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7 is on the screen. Praise and worship for 15 minutes. Instructions and back on seven days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., then these prayers tell God to kill that light because our God is the God of truth. The Bible says, it is only the truth that can set you free. Praise the living Jesus. Prayer point number one, say, Oh Lord, I thank you for showing interest in saving me from every wrong label by envious people in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, I thank you for showing interest in saving me from every wrong label by envious people in Jesus' name. Prayer point number two. Say, Father, expose the truth and deal with the false accusers in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, expose the truth and deal with the false accuser with your power. Deal with them. Deal with them. Deal with them. Deal with them. You that brother, you're not praying. You that sister, you're not praying. Deal with them in Jesus' name. Prayer point number three. Say, I command every false accusation level against me or level against my loved ones expire in the name of jesus expire in the name of jesus i command every false accusation leveled against me or level against my loved one expire 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 in jesus name we pray amen prayer point number four say oh lord arise and defend me from those who cook up lies against me Oh God, arise and defend me from those who cook up lies against me. Oh God, arise and defend me from those who cook up lies against me. Oh God, arise and defend me from those who cook up lies, cook up lies against me. In Jesus' name. Prayer number five. Say, Father, let all those who accuse me wrongly become victims of their evil accusation. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let all those who accuse me wrongly become victims of their own evil accusation in the name of Jesus. Father, let all those who accuse me wrongly become victims of their evil accusation in Jesus' name. Prayer number six. Say, O oh Lord, arise and fight against those fighting against me in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, arise and fight against those fighting against me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven. Say, Father, grant me the total victory over every false accusation in my life. Say, Father, 
grant me the total victory over every false accusation in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, grant me the total victory over every false accusation in my life. Grant me the total victory over every false accusation in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number eight. Say, Oh Lord, release your fire to scatter their evil reports or evidence against me. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release your fire to scatter the evil report or evidence against me. In the name of Jesus. Let your fire destroy the evil report. Let your fire destroy the evil evidence against me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number nine. Say, any satanic lies against me be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Any satanic lies against me be nullified, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified. Any satanic lie, whoever that is making lies, gang up lies against me in order to waste me, in order to spoil my reputation, in order to put me in the prison of delay. Father, nullify that lies, nullify that lies, nullify it, nullify it, scatter it, nullify it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 10. Say, any plan of the wicked to conspire against me and my destiny, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Any plan of the wicked to conspire against me and my destiny, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 11. Say, Father, begin to expose and arrest those that are planning to set me up for a big case. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Begin to expose and arrest those that are planning to set me up for a big case in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, begin to expose and arrest those that are planning evil, planning to set me up for a big case. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 12. Say, any man or woman trying to give me a bad name for something I did not do. Father, begin to frustrate them. Begin to frustrate them. Begin to frustrate them. Any man or woman trying to give me a bad name for something I did not do. Father, begin to frustrate them. 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 Frustrate them. Frustrate them. In the day, frustrate them. In the night, frustrate them. Frustrate them. Frustrate them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 13. Say, Oh Lord, begin to disgrace and frustrate the plans of those that want my downfall. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, begin to disgrace and frustrate the plans of those that want my downfall in the name of Jesus. Father, begin to disgrace and frustrate the plans of those that want my downfall. Begin to disgrace them. Begin to frustrate them. Begin to scatter the plans of those people, bad people that want my downfall, that want me to end up in shame. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number 14. Say, any man or woman hired by the devil to frustrate my life with false accusation, Father, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, any man or woman hired by the devil to frustrate my life with false accusation. Father, destroy them. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 15. Take this declaration. Say, I decree that I shall not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. If you have anyone that is wrongly accused, you mention his name. My brother, my sister, I decree that I shall not be put to shame. I shall not be put to shame. I shall not end my career in shame. I shall not end my marriage in shame. I shall not end my ministerial calling in shame. In Jesus' name. Prayer point number 16. Say, Father Lord, the disgrace all our friendly friends in my life, planning evil against me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father Lord, disgrace all our friendly friends in my life, planning evil against me. Disgrace them. Disgrace them. All our unfriendly friends. Planning evil against me. Disgrace them. Disgrace them. All oh, friendly friends. Praying for my downfall. Praying for my shame. Praying for my failure. Father, disgrace them. Father, disgrace them. Father, disgrace them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 17. Shout it loud and clear. Say, Father, dismiss the false report assigned against me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, dismiss the false report assigned against your children. Assigned against me. Assigned against me. Assigned against me. Father, Dismiss that false report, that false evidence, and sign against me. Destroy it. Dismiss it. Dismiss it. Dismiss it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number 18. Say, Father, I decree that I will end up victorious and overcome all the envious false accusers in my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I decree that I will end up victoriously and overcome all 
envious first accuser, first accusers in my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, I decree that I will end up victoriously and overcome all the envious fake accusers in my life. In Jesus' name, prayer point number nineteen. Say, Father, let my first accusers have no peace of mind until the truth is let out. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, let my first accusers have no peace of mind until the truth is let out of their mind, of their heart. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, let my first accusers have no peace of mind until the truth is let out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 20. Say, Father, let the fear of me spread in the heart of my enemies and let them be defeated. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the fear of me spread in the heart of my enemies and let them be defeated. Let them be defeated. Let them be defeated. Let them be put to shame. Let them be disgraced. Let them be let their downfall be like Emma in the Bible. Let them end in shame. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number 21. Say, no matter their evil conspiracy against me, I decree it will never stand nor affect my life. In the name of Jesus. No matter their evil conspiracy against me, it will never stand and it will never affect my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First accusation and set up. Keep on taking that prayers over and over again. So that prayers has done a lot of wonders to many people that have taken that prayer point. It's on my website at evangelijoshua.com. Prayer against false accusation. It's a very, very serious case. Don't just look down on these prayers. False accusation is a very, very, it's a, in fact, it's a very serious offense of sin before God. So if you have been accusing people wrongly in order to gain, in order to gain prayer, power or position, wrongly accuse somebody in order to demoralize bully bully person it's not good as a christian you will not grow you will not last any false accusation that was done based on false uh, pretense it's not good you will not last in that position in that blessings so ask god to ask god to to, to to take away your sins and give you a new heart so that whatever you are praying for people let it come to you so you don't need to be trying to put down somebody's destiny because of envies and jealousy. Pray that God will help you and shall surely fulfill your destiny in Jesus' name. If God has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.